So as you can imagine, Dropbox makes it really easy for you to search files using its PHP SDK. And now I've created a few example files within a couple of folders within my Dropbox, which are obviously synced up to the server. And we can see these within my text editor because I have this folder open. I have a folder called Documents, which has a couple of text files in here. And I also have a uh, folder called Fun, which has a couple of files in here as well, two photos. So what we can do now is use the Dropbox API to search for files either within a specific folder or in the root directory. So let's first of all define a variable called query. That's going to contain a query string of what we want to search for. And then, as you'd imagine, we can just access a method on client called search file names. And this takes a base path, so that can either be a folder within your uh, Dropbox directory, or it can be just um, the root path, so just a forward slash. You then provide the query, whether you want to limit it or not, so this is an optional argument, and also whether you want to include deleted files. So let's go ahead and implement this, and all we're going to do is just echo out some pre-tags just to preserve the formatting of printr. And then we use printr. And obviously you wouldn't do this in reality, it's just to demonstrate. So here we use the search file names method. We want to pass in the directory we're looking in. So for example, that could be documents, it could be fun or just the root directory. We want to pass the query in, the limit, so that's an integer be 5, 10, whatever you want. In my case, I'll just do 5. And whether we want to include deleted files. If you don't, you can just leave this argument. Or we could say, well, I do want to look for deleted files as well. So inside of the query, then let's just type in cat. So we've got one folder here that contains the word cat, uh, one file here, sorry, that contains the word cats. So when we go ahead and refresh on here, we get uh, an array back similar to what we saw when we did the get meta or get meta with children or get metadata with children sorry we get all of the information about this whether it's a directory obviously it's not going to be because we're searching for files specifically and you can see here that it's giving us the path to that file if we were to update this to say birthday we have two files called birthday so as you'd expect we get an array with two elements in and one is here, one is here, we can see the full path and all the information. So this is really, really cool because if you do need to provide the ability for users to search within uh, what they've created on their Dropbox folder, then you can do that really, really easily. Return what you uh, get back from the search and then do whatever you need to with these files. So there we go. That's how easy it is to search inside of your Dropbox folder.